Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to show you the inside view of a 32 amperes DC motor generator. Okay, so this is the field. You can see the permanent magnets here. I'll place this nail. Okay, so it has two poles this and uh, this one. Okay, it is pretty strong. Yeah, now it's out. So two poles inside and the good thing is that uh, these motors are on bushes and it's on, and these are not on bearings. So uh, the bushes don't uh, die that easily but the bearings get a bit of problematic with age. So the bushes have an advantage but they also have a little bit disadvantage of an increased level of friction when compared to the bearings. Okay, so now comes the armature part. This is the armature. This is the commutator. Okay. Okay, I will give you a closer view. Okay, so as you can see, this is the commutator. These are the brushes. Okay. right and this is the really thick copper winding as you can see because of these uh, thick copper windings this generator or motor is capable of producing really high amps which are around uh, 32 amperes and maximum current of up to 40 amperes so these can charge your car batteries in less than an hour and your uh, UPS batteries in a few minutes so because of this very reason these types of generators are low voltage but high current the voltage rating is 14.4 volts and the current rating is 32 amperes with a maximum current generating capability of up to 40 amps so this was the inside detail and one more thing this is the terminal connector this and this for uh, giving it an input DC supply if you are using it as a motor but if you are using it as a generator then you can connect the wires to get an electric voltage and current for connecting loads so guys and this was the generator that I tested in my previous video okay yeah so guys there is not much of a difference between these two motors or generators the only difference is that uh, this metallic casing is a bit longer in this motor generator rather than this you can see here it is a little bit more otherwise these two are almost identical in the voltage and current generating and motoring mode capability so guys now I am going to assemble back all the parts of this generator okay now I will show you how to do that you have to be really careful because the parts are very sensitive and you don't want to damage them okay hold it like this and hold the armature like this place it like this okay and then place the armature inside Okay. don't forget to remove your fingers because it is going to be a bit of a problem if it gets in between the casing and the armature you might start bleeding okay so guys after you have placed uh, the shaft back in so all you got to do is push these to their sockets okay this one like this and this is like this now this one yeah 
now you can see and that is still not properly aligned and for that we have a back cover here so how this is gonna go yeah, it seems like this uh huh yeah it is like this okay yeah so this is how you have to successfully install a DC motor brushed one on the bushes not the bearings okay now it is still a bit tight I think I will have to place these screws back for better alignment and then it should work great okay so let's place back the screws yeah yeah and now and now the shaft is operating pretty smooth because of better alignment so now let's compare the physical sizes of the two generators this is the one in my previous video and this is the present one can see that uh, this one looks bigger like this much and this is and this looks smaller but that's not the important part you can see that the bush part is coming from uh, up to here and so is this one okay and everything else is same so these two are almost same with identical diameter and the only difference is that uh, it has metallic casing from here up to here this is an extra one and this one does not okay so now I'm going to test this one as a generator because I've already tested this one as a generator in my previous video and if you want to watch uh, the testing video of this generator the link is in the description okay so guys the setup is same as my previous video this is a 450 watts DC generator with a current generating capability of 32 amperes and the maximum current generating capability of up to 40 amperes and this is a 150 volts DC motor and I'm giving it a 92 volts DC supply by connecting a laptop charger and electric scooty charger in series so guys as you can see that the shafts of this motor and this generator are connected with the help of these two back to back drill jugs for excellent alignment and now uh, I'm going to conduct uh, the voltage generating and the current generating capability test of this generator and guys as I said in my previous video this is a motor as well as a generator okay so now I'm going to turn on the power supply you should see the system start okay Okay, so guys as you can see that the system has started operating now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the generated voltage okay so for that I have this multimeter pointing towards the 20 volts DC mode
you can see the generated voltage is around uh, 6.2 volts reversing the polarity uh, it is somewhere around 6.2 volts DC and it is shooting sometimes even 6.5 volts and this generator is still not being operated at its full potential now the rated voltage as I told you is 12 to 14 volts DC and it is generating only 6.5 volts which is half the voltage of the rated so guys now I am going to measure the generated current of this generator so let's connect uh, the meter in current reading mode so this is the 10 amperes current reading mode ok yeah the meter is now connected in the amperes mode please watch uh, the LCD screen as I connect these wires ok red one here this is the green one Okay, 4.5 amperes. Oh, sorry, 10.5 amperes. Uh, the maximum read, uh, me the maximum measurement capability of current by this multimeter is 10 amperes, and it is generating current more than 10 amperes, which is almost 10.5, which is 11 amperes, as the previous generator. So let's do that once more. Yeah, 10.5 amperes. Okay. okay so for the same reason I didn't connect uh, these two terminals permanently to uh, the output terminals of this generator because then the generated high current is going to burn either burn this multimeter or these wires in either case it is going to damage the multimeter since its maximum current measurement capability is only 10 amperes and uh, the generated current is more than 10 amps so both uh, the generators, the one in the previous video and this one, both are capable of uh, producing same amount of voltage and current. And I think this is going to be a little bit lighter because of uh, because uh, because the metal case covering is not up to here. It's only here, and then this part is empty. So this will be a bit lighter for the same value of voltage and current rather than the other one so guys that would be all about the video for the measurement of voltage and current of these high current generators 450 watts 12 to 14 volts 32 amperes rated and the maximum current generating capability of up to 40 amps okay thank you so much for watching my video please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you